Could a mosquito bite during pregnancy put your baby at risk? We're diving deep into West Nile virus and what the latest research reveals for expectant mothers. Stay tuned to understand the facts and how to protect yourself. While most infected individuals remain asymptomatic, about 20% develop symptoms like fever, headache, and body aches. Less than 1% experience severe neuroinvasive disease, including encephalitis or meningitis. Pregnancy involves significant immune system changes, making expectant mothers and their fetuses more susceptible to certain infections. Recent outbreaks, like SARS-CoV-2, have highlighted these vulnerabilities. Viral infections during pregnancy can lead to serious outcomes, including preterm birth or congenital abnormalities. For neonates, the outlook is also largely positive. Most deliveries progressed without complications, and no infection was noted in many cases. Most newborns had normal APGAR scores and showed no significant developmental delays. While some infants had minor issues like rash or fever, these were typically transient. Birth weight, length, and head circumference were generally normal. Transplacental transmission of WNV appears to be rare, unlike other viruses such as Zika. A common concern is WNV transmission through breast milk. Our review found that while antibodies against WNV were detected in breast milk, no association with transmission to the neonate was observed. Breastfed infants remained healthy. Do you have questions or experiences with West Nile virus? Share them in the comments below. If you found this information helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more health insights. Your engagement helps us spread vital knowledge.